getting so hungry. Hello friends, welcome to House of Sid. This is Veronica where I make videos on coffee reviews, coffee recipes, coffee adventures, and all things from the wonderful world of coffee because here at House of Sid we love coffee, period. And today I have hopefully a fun, interesting video for you guys on coffee cheese. You don't want to miss out, so stick around. So I hope you guys have subscribed because like I've said in my other videos, I do have a fun giveaway coming up. I'm going to give one of you a Nespresso machine with a frother, not just the Nespresso, but the frother as well. But I'm only going to do the giveaway when I hit a thousand subscribers. So come on, guys, you got to subscribe and make sure you hit the notifications so you know when my giveaway is coming up. But today, let's talk about cheese and coffee. I know it sounds like a weird combination, but it kind of makes sense because cheese is made with a dairy and we put milk and cream half and half and other things in our coffee. So why not coffee? cheese. I wanted to do a review for you guys today on this uh, cheese. It's called But First Coffee Artisan Cheddar Cheese Rubbed with Espresso and Lavender. Very interesting. That's what it looks like. I bought it a couple days ago. Haven't tried it because I wanted to give you guys a first reaction on this. Um, I'm not great with coffee or cheese pairings. I tried looking up some information about the cheese. Like, what do you, I know there's a lot of wine pairing. Wine, cheese, nuts, fruits, and all that, which is fine. But coffee, cheese, I don't know. Um, this is from Aldi. I bought this at Aldi. I'm not sure if there's Aldi stores all over the U.S. I know there's some in Europe. But here in California, Aldi opened up a few years ago, and I really like it. They have a lot of good things, fun things like this. Um, this is like a seasonal type item, a specialty item, so it's not going to be available year-round. So when you see things like this, if you want to try it, buy it because you're not going to find it later on. Um, I didn't find much information about this cheese, what to eat it with, how to pair it. So I'm just going to do my own little House of Sid, uh, Veronica's way of tasting it. I have some crackers. And that's the thing. I didn't even know what kind of crackers to get it. Is this kind of sweet? I have no idea. Um, but we're going to go with it because, hey, that's what this is all about. Um, I bought these crackers, Milton's Organic Crackers with Himalayan salt. Um, I know the Milton's bread is pretty good, so I figured Milton cracker should be good too. So let's dig in. So it's um, four ounces. So it's not a lot, but I think this is not a cheese that you're going to be, you know, eating tons of it. Or maybe you are. Um, it's four ounces. I bought it at Aldi and I believe it was $349, $329. It was under $350. So that's pretty good because if you ever go to a cheese specialty shop or even at stores like Whole Foods or some of the gourmet markets, uh, cheese is not cheap. So let's open it up. Okay, so I have my little crackers here and I'm going to open up my cheese without hurting myself. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, it, oh my God, I just opened it. And the first whiff I get is the espresso. It's pretty strong espresso. I'm trying not to hurt myself because uh, I tend to be a little on the clumsy side sometimes when it comes to these kinds of things. Oh, so only the rind crust is espresso, not the whole cheese. So let's do this. You can definitely smell the espresso. 
So there it is. There's my cheese espresso. You guys see the rind? And it says lavender, but I don't really smell the lavender too much. It's mostly, mostly the espresso. Again, I'm not an expert at any of this stuff. So if I'm doing it wrong, let me know how to do it or uh, what's the right way because that's how we learn, right? Okay, so I'm gonna taste a little bit of it first without a cracker or anything, just the cheese. It's artisan cheddar, cheddar cheese. It does say it's award-winning, so. The cheese itself is fine. It's nothing. It's a little bit, not hard, but it's not really soft. The cheese itself is fine. It's just white cheddar cheese. Um, let me taste a piece with the espresso crust. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not wowed by it, to be honest with you. I'm not super duper impressed. Like, oh my God, it's so good. It's all right. Okay, let's try it with a cracker as I make a mess here. Okay, I'm gonna cut it in half because I know I'm gonna make a mess. Okay. I know there's some cheeses that um, when you do the wine cheese pairing, you have to do it with, um, there's like stuff falling from somewhere. <laughs> um, I know you have to do like fruit or chocolate or things like that, which I don't have any of that stuff. I went to the store and I tried to find things, but I couldn't find things to pair it with. So I said, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go with what I have, crackers. Uh, bread maybe, I don't know. It's okay. It's not the best cheese I've ever had. It's not the worst cheese I've ever had. Maybe I need to pair it with some other fruit or nut or something. Maybe it's these crackers. They're uh, not too salty, but they have Himalayan um, salt. I don't know. I don't actually, the flavor of this cheese is very mild is not strong at all and I thought I expected a stronger a stronger flavor to the cheese so I don't know may I think I'm a little disappointed um I'm glad I didn't pay a lot of money for this cheese because if this would have been like five six seven eight nine dollars for this piece of cheese I would have been very disappointed but for $3.50, it's not bad. Um, I don't know, maybe it'll taste good on a burger or some other kind of food, not just crackers. Okay, so we're going to make some coffee to see if that'll enhance the cheese. I'm just gonna make a quick Lungo espresso, not regular coffee, espresso. Um, and yeah, let's see if that enhances it. And I found some beans in my refrigerator. It's not fancy prosciutto, salami, or any of that stuff. It's just pepperoni, but 
I know a lot of those fancy char char tru char tru those fancy cheese char tru char charcuterie. That's how you say it. Charcuterie plates. They have meats, cheeses, fruits, crackers, olives, stuff like that. I don't have any of that. So we're just going to do with what we got. Um, coffee, the cheese, the crackers, and I found some pepperoni. That's what I got. Okay. So um, let me try it with the pepperoni first and the cheese. Let's see. Gonna cut a little piece here of the cheese, the cracker, and the pepperoni. Hmm, that's good. The pepperoni is a little salty, greasy, fatty, I should say. That's good. A little better. Okay, I'm gonna try some coffee. It's just black. So I'm gonna cut another little piece of cheese with my cracker. Actually, just the cheese with the coffee. You guys, it's not, it's not really doing anything for me. I'm kind of disappointed. It's not awful. It's not bad. But I think I had really high expectations of this cheese because, you know, it's fancy artisan cheese, Emporium Selections, award-winning according to the label, Artisan Cheddar Cheese, award-winning. I don't know who the, where the award came from, but I'm not that impressed. I don't know, guys. I'm not super impressed with this cheese. Again, it's not awful. It's not bad cheese. It's cheese, but it's not great. It's not spectacular. It's nothing to rave about. In my opinion, if you want to try it because you're curious, try it. It's not that expensive. Um, try it. If you aren't a cheese lover, a coffee lover, skip it completely. So yeah, that's my review. My review is, eh, it's okay. Again, not awful, not great. It's just there. It's just average. The flavors are very mild, not strong, which isn't a bad thing. Not every cheese has to have a strong flavor, but it's not giving me anything too exciting. So maybe my expectations were too high for this. Maybe the cheese isn't that good. I don't know. If you've ever tried um, this cheese from Aldi or any other coffee, cheese with coffee, let me know. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Or if you have a recommendation for another cheese to try that either pairs well with coffee or has coffee flavoring in it somehow, I will definitely try it out because why not? Um, so that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for uh, watching my videos. I hope you enjoy them. And I hope you're giving them thumbs up. So make sure you subscribe for more videos coming up and that big giveaway when we hit a thousand subscribers. So you don't want to miss out. Hit the notification button. And thanks. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. I'm going to try and find a good way to eat this cheese.